Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel and welcome to this video. So one of the biggest things I'm asked about on a daily basis is how to fly FPV drones. And there are just so many different options out there as far as what drones you can get. And people are constantly asking me what the best ones to buy are. Especially when it comes to beginner drones because with FPV it's super complicated from the outside and it's just like there's so many different options that it makes it really confusing to figure out actually how even to fly the drones. So what I'm going to be doing today is introducing you guys to a drone that kind of solves all those problems and it's the Drone Kit 2 from Beagle Drones. And it is in this box here. So I'm going to be doing a review of the drone, but first off is unboxing it and setting it up. So I'm going to grab my giant knife that I got in Mongolia and open this thing up. Okay, so inside the box. Oh, almost just spilled my coffee. Inside the box, it is a stealth battery, which is essentially just like a really sick, foolproof FPV battery um, that can take a bunch of crashes. And this is only made by Beagle Drones, which is sick. So I haven't actually tested it yet, so I'm super pumped to try it out. And then the actual drone kit too itself. I also really need to get this coffee out of my way. Okay, so what's inside? is first off a controller. This controller is a FlySky controller and comes already pre-binded with the drone. Now, getting to the actual drone. So you've got the FPV camera, the two antennas, um, and everything in this drone is already pre-set up. Um, so the receiver is already soldered to the board and literally all you need to do is plug in the motors and it's already pre-bonded the controller and you're pretty much ready to go. Next up in the box, you have a, another battery, an FPV charger. This is a super nice one and really simple. It's not as complicated as a lot of the other chargers I've seen. And then you have the top shell of the drone right here, which just goes on top like that. And then here you have the GoPro mount. So obviously the reason you're wanting to get into FPV is because you've seen all the super sick videos. Um, so this is gonna allow you to mount your GoPro right on top of the drone. Quick word of advice though, you will have to get this little nut from another GoPro mount to keep it screwed on. Okay, last few things are these little boxes and obviously these are the motors and then all the cords for hooking it up to the computer. So it's really simple and the cool thing about Beagle Drones is it has a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up the drone. Um, you will have to connect your drone to this program called Betaflight, which just helps you kind of like tune your drone and make it exactly how you want. So you will have to just plug this up to your computer, um, program a few things, but it's super step-by-step. -step. You just follow the website. It's really easy to follow um, and it'll show you exactly how to set it up. So what I'm gonna do now is just put the propellers on and get this thing all set up. Quick note, you always want these to be opposite. So the silver screws right here, you want them to be like that. And then the black screws, you want to be on these opposite corners. Other than that, just plug them up and screw them in. All right guys, so the motors are on. Next step is to set up the shell. So that's just this top here. So the rest of the process is super simple. It's on Beagle Drone's website. You just go in, you download Betaflight, you plug everything in, um, and then you just follow the step-by-step -step instructions. Super simple, put the props on, and it should already be pre-binded with the controller. So you're pretty much good to fly. The rest of this video is just gonna be flying around and actually getting real world experience flying with this drone. So that's it for the setup and unboxing part of this video. I will see you guys outside for the fun part, which is actually flying the drone. Oh, oops. Yeah, guys. Wow. That wow. was a fail. <laughs> So right now we're on the Oregon coast and we're gonna go fly this thing. It's all set up. I've got the GoPro on there right now. Got goggles. I'm flying with the HDO twos. Um, got the controller, batteries and everything. So we're gonna head out to the beach and get this thing in the air and I'm just gonna walk you through just sort of how it flies and everything. Let's do it. All right guys, so we made it down to the beach. Um, yeah, that's the cool thing about cruising around in the van is we can literally just post up wherever we need to shoot and today it just happens to be this really cool beach on the Oregon coast. Um, so I'm just plugging the battery in now. I'm using the Stealth battery from Beagle. Um, they're really sick. They last a lot longer than other batteries um, as far as like if you crash, they're way more likely to not blow up, which is really nice. <laughs> 
So battery is on. I've got a Hero 8 recording right now. I'm going to be filming in 4K60 using Hypersmooth. And there is an ND16 filter on here right now. But uh, yeah, so that's good to go. Going to angle the FPV camera a little bit. Just right there. And plug in the battery. And then we should be good to fly. Cool. So I'm just going to cruise around and just kind of talk about how the drone feels. Cool, so even with the added GoPro weight, still feels like handles pretty solid. So it's actually a super powerful drone and it's super responsive as well. So for all those like tight turns, um, it does really well. And it's good to go over the water. Ah! So even like low down intricate stuff, it's pretty solid at. All right, I'm gonna come in and do a little power loop. Oof. And that was perfect. Woo! I'm in a tree now. All right, well, I'm gonna go get the drone, but it should be fine just because it's like really durable, so I'll be back. So I've retrieved the drone officially, and now we are going to test if Beagle drone can survive crashes. Um, it wasn't too bad of a crash, but, so I'm guessing it's still gonna work, but uh, let's see. Cool guys, so the drone flew again. But overall, Beagle Drone Kit is a really solid way to get your hands on a five inch drone that can record with GoPro. I definitely recommend it if you're a beginner looking to step into it. You can use the remote on a simulator if you need. That's it for the Beagle Drone Kit 2 video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Yeah guys, so quick note here before I publish this video. Uh, so Beagle's team is working super quickly on the next version of Drone Kit 2, which is the Drone Kit 2X and it's coming out with some really awesome features. So I just wanna run through those features real quick with you guys because it is definitely gonna be a game changer. Um, so first off, the Drone Kit 2X, it's gonna have a new camera with a wider field of view and it's also gonna have night vision, which I'm really stoked to test out. There's gonna be a brand new heads up display that covers miles per hour, distance, and altitude. And then a huge update is it's also gonna include GPS. So if you get too far out of range, the drone will actually just fly back to you, which is a huge game changer as far as FPV goes because normally Normally you just drop out of the sky and you lose the drone. On top of that, there's going to be an automatic buzzer, so when you crash the drone, it's going to start beeping super loudly, so if you are trying to find it, it's a lot easier with that. And last but not least, they're announcing Beagle Omnitune, which eliminates the need for a computer to set the drone up in Betaflight, um, so it just makes the entire setup process way easier. That is also going to be available for the normal drone kit too, but just wanted to give you guys a heads up. Um, yeah, the guys at Beagle are working super hard to uh, push the envelope of FPV drones. So anyways, that's actually it for this video. I'll see you guys on the next one.